Welcome to part two where I show you the focus stacking part in Photoshop. All right, in Photoshop I'm going to go to File and then I'm going to go down to Scripts and then I'm going to go down to Load into a Stack and that is going to let me allow to bring multiple images in with each image on its own layer, which is what I need. So now I'll browse out to find those images. Instead of using the flowers that I showed in the last tutorial, I'm going to use a picture of a rock. And I'm going to use JPEGs instead of RAW, simply to limit the number of images that I'm processing here in the tutorial, just to make life a little easier and a little bit shorter. <laughs> so uh, there's all the images. I'm going to make sure that attempt to automatically align source images is checked so that it will try to line up the images so that they are directly underneath each other. This was taken with a tripod, so there shouldn't be a lot of that, but I always have that checked just in case. Now that I have all of the images stacked into their individual layers, I'm going to select them all just using Shift. And then I'm going to go to Edit and then Auto Blend Layers. I'm going to make sure that Stack Images is selected because I'm doing a focus stack. And then I'll say OK. And then I just wait. If you're doing several images, this might be another good time for a coffee break. Eventually you'll see that the layers are now masked and hopefully the picture is a little clearer all the way around the rock. In this case, if I wanted to add more detail to the back part of the rock, the far inner part of the rock, I would need to take more pictures. Here's my final example with lots and lots of pictures stacked, starting with the raw and then finally finished in Photoshop to get the clarity.